Hello and welcome to Old Ways Gardening and Prepping. My name is Teresa. I'd like to welcome you out to my backyard inside the Hootie Hoop House where I'm going to remake a video because there was a lot of questions and I know several of the questions they didn't watch the video but I'm going to make it more simplified for you. And they said they were having trouble hearing, so you'll be able to hear me this time. So, let's get busy working on planting some staghorn sumac. So, let's get busy. Okay, this is a head of staghorn sumac. This is what it looks like after two years. Yes, these are two-year-old heads of staghorn sumac. Yes, they are still very viable. And for those, before you even start, it's not poisonous. It, the poisonous sumac is white buried, and you're lucky if you see it, it likes swampy areas. And I know most folks are not going to go tromping through the swamps. So... Now, my ancestors and all Native American used staghorn sumac. It made a delicious tea that's also known as Indian lemonade. I'm not going to make it with this. I make it with fresh berries that are fresh harvested. So, all I'm going to do is I'm not going to do a whole lot because I've already done some. Take one of the branches off and just strip the berries off. This was also very important seasoning in the Middle East. And it made zatar seasoning. It's wonderful. It has a lemony citrusy pungent taste it is excellent for cleaning out when you make the, the indian lemonade it works just as good if not better than cranberries to clean out urinary tracts and to clean out your whole urinary system Extremely high in vitamin C. And all you do is just strip the berries off. And just so before somebody goes wild, yes, it will dye your fingers. It's also used as a dye. These have just been stored in a sack. They have definitely gone through the seasons in the sack because the sack has been stored outside. So, they have been stratified two times through a whole winter, through a whole two whole summers, and so on. Now, like I said, I'm not going to harvest all of them because, yes, I have still have baby sumac trees or bushes, whichever you want to call them. But see how beautiful that is? All right. Now, here comes the hard part. You just scatter. No random order, just scatter. As long as your seeds are viable, which pretty much every one of these seeds are going to be viable, you will grow your own staghorn sumac. And believe me, these babies are very viable. 
it's not hard just move them around All right. and I like to push them down so they get good contact what kind of soil am I using my seed starting mix that's what I'm using with a little bit of organic soil added to it you don't have to go wild and go expensive you can do these in pots this is just a plain bottom flat and another one so it'll have some strength now How long will it take to germinate? Not very long. Not very long. I had the last batch. I was getting germination within a week or two. And then once they get big enough, I'll bring y'all back for a transplanting video. Now these... Don't think they're all going to come up at the same time. No. They take sometimes. There are some that are overachievers. And then some that just like to take their sweet time. If you use a flat like this. Just set it outside. Make sure it doesn't dry out. Keep it watered real good. I had seedlings still coming up the second year after planting. I had a massive flush the first year, and then they were still coming up the second year, and I had three that came up a third year. So, don't get rid of your flat until you know for a fact no more are coming up. And make sure you have a plant marker in your tray so you can remember because believe me you'll forget if you plant a lot of seeds you will forget what's in the tray and you just Press down. Make sure they get good soil contact. This soil's already moistened, so I don't have to worry about them drying out. If you see any grass seedlings coming up or any kind of thing sprouting, go on and pull those up. I will do a short video, shorts video, as an update. And I will add this video to my Staghorn Sumac. Folder. Or playlist. Now. Just make sure that they are in there real good. My soil's already moist, so I don't have to worry about watering them now. Because they're going to be perfectly fine. Now, just so you know, this goes for any sumac plant. You grow it the same way. As long as you have the berries, have a tray, a pot, so on, you can grow them. They are not hard at all to grow. They are not hard at all to germinate, propagate, whatever you want to call it. It's not hard. But they are so beautiful and so worth 
growing. They are a very important medicinal plant. Not only that, but the stems, and the Americans use them, especially Cherokees use them for pipe stems as well. <coughs> very medicinal. And of course, I'll have more information in the description box below. But you can see how simple and easy it was to do this. There's no need in making anything complicated. See, I have potentially hundreds of sumac trees that will be coming up. Many of your plants, your seeds, are extremely simple to grow. Too many people want to make it difficult, and that's where the problem comes in, where people have trouble growing them. This is a tried and true method for me. For many times have I grown sumac. It's not hard to do, y'all, and they are such beautiful, beautiful specimens, especially in the fall when the leaves are turned, they get this brilliant fire red with oranges and reds, dark purples in them. They're beautiful. And like I said, this goes for any type of sumac. So if you've got, uh, what is it, shiny leaf sumac, it goes for that. This is staghorn sumac. Different kinds of sumac grow throughout the world. It goes the same for the ones that grow in your area. All you have to do is harvest the flowering or the buried heads and let them dry and plant them the next year. Simple, easy, and yes, you can do it also. You just have to believe in yourself, have the supplies to do it with. I look forward to seeing y'all in my next video. Y'all stay safe and sound in this crazy world because I'm telling you, it's getting wild out there. Continue to stock up your pantries with food that will sustain and nourish you. Different teas that will hydrate and heal you because you're going to get sick and tired of drinking water, y'all. Continue to stock up on your medicinals that will heal you. This is one, too. It's culinary and medicinal. Continue to stock up on your protection and the bare essentials that you will need to survive on. I look forward to seeing you in my next video, and may you each be blessed. Hoot, hoot, and y'all take care.